On Sunday, Manchester United fans saw both happiness and sadness for two of their players in Lusail, which must have made them feel sad and happy at the same time. Argentina beat France in a shootout to win the World Cup for the first time since 1986. Lissandro Martinez was back on the bench for the South Americans, but he joined in the celebrations as his teammates praised what they had all done. Rafael Varane, on the other hand, did play for France and did a great job in the match between the two football powerhouses. During extra time, United's 29-year-old had a scare when cameras caught him hobbling toward the dugout after being taken off the field. Eric Ten Hag will hope that Varane doesn't hurt himself too badly. Rafael Varane was only tired when he was taken off late in France's loss to Argentina in the World Cup final. Varane fell to the ground in the 23rd minute of extra time and the 113th minute of an exciting game that ended 3-3 and went to a penalty shootout, which Argentina won 4-2. Varane, a defender for Manchester United, started all but one of France's seven games in Qatar. He was picked for the team after recovering from an ankle injury that kept him out for a few weeks. Varane was sick, but he still started for France at the Lusail Stadium on Sunday. He is off this week, but he will be back at United's Carrington Training Complex the week after that. Since both France and Argentina made it to the World Cup final, Varane and Lissandro Martinez won't be able to play against Nottingham Forest in the Premier League on December 27. Both can't play against Burnley in the fourth round of the League Cup on Tuesday, but they could play at Wolves on New Year's Eve. On Sunday, United players started training at 8.30 a.m., and some of them left at 3 p.m. The players got a day off today, and only those who were hurt and needed to get better went to Carrington. The nine United players who lost in the quarter-finals of the World Cup will be back tomorrow. Ten Hag is thinking about a move for Kudus. The Metro says that United manager Eric Ten Hag wants Mohamed Kudus to play for United. The Ghanaian midfielder is thought to be worth about £45 million, and he may want to move to the Premier League. Kudus played well for Africa at the World Cup in Qatar, and he is reportedly wanted by a number of clubs from all over the world. Costa is still wanted by United. Abola says that United is still interested in FC Porto and Portugal goalkeeper Diogo Costa, even though he just signed a new deal with the club. David De Gea could be replaced by Costa, who is 23 years old, starting next season. Last month, Costa signed a new deal that kept him from going to Barcelona or Chelsea. People think that his release clause is now around £64 million.